Most people are still using ChatGPT like it's 2023. So here's five signs you might be using ChatGPT like it's 2023 versus all the things it has to offer in 2025. Sign number one, you're always starting a new chat versus using projects or custom GPTs. So a project is essentially a workspace within ChatGPT where you can add multiple files for the context and custom instructions on how ChatGPT should behave. So now when you have new chat in the project, it will already have all the context without you having to reprompt over and over again and custom instructions will always guide the results the way you want them to be. For example, here I have files for my startup and instructions on how ChatGPT should behave. So now in a new chat, when I ask it for a new feature name, instead of me providing all the context what my startup is, what this feature is about, ChatGPT already had all the context and it do its thing. And within project, you have access to all the tools and you can access all the models as well. So projects are great when you wanna do a variety of different tasks within the project scope. But for more specialized tasks, you should be using custom GPTs. So custom GPT is like a mini chat GPT that is trained specifically on your knowledge. It is essentially very similar to projects, but the difference is projects is private and only accessible to you, while a custom GPT can be shared with anyone on the link or onto the GPT store. So here for a specialized task, I've built a custom GPT for copywriting for my startup. I've added knowledge files about my product, so basically everything you need to know about my company, my startup. I've added a file that talks about the languages my customer use so I can leverage my customer's own words into the copy, then I have some customer feedback, customer reviews, and the market positioning and target audience, along with my instructions for that GPT. So now every time I have to do any copywriting work for my startup, instead of using a generic chat or a project, I can use this custom GPT, which is trained on writing copy exactly how I want it. All right, sign number two. You didn't know these little shortcuts you have within the chat GPT interface. For example, if you just do add in your chat, you can actually call your custom GPTs right away. Here you have a list of all the GPTs you have used before. This isn't something that you can pull anything from the GPT store, but all the GPTs you have used before can be pulled directly with a single add action here. So the same GPT for copywriting, I can just go here at my PG copywriting GPT, and now I can just be like, help me rewrite uh, the hero text for the website. Current hero text is unlock chat GPT expert mode. Now this chat will be running through my custom GPT instead of just a regular chat GPT chat. It is able to pull up all the context I had in the knowledge files and the training I did. But you can also use shorthands like TLDR, uh, chat GPT's new open model release. Since chat GPT won't be able to figure out what this new model releases, I have to go here and like enable the web search. But TLDR essentially is gonna be a way of you to summarize things very quickly. It understands like what TLDR means and it is like tra kind of trained in a way to be able to uh, explain new things uh, with that sort of shorthand. The same way we can do like another shorthand like ELF5 open source models by chat GPT. Now without me trying to do extensive prompting, the shorthand ELF5 is gonna be able to to tell ChatGPT that we want us to explain, you know, things like I'm five. Essentially, like it is smart enough to recognize these like kind of like common urban dictionary slangs or keywords. So you can pull those in your prompts right away. All right, sign number three. Your prompts look like this. Help me brainstorm startup ideas based on my skills. And you're not using prompt optimization or management tools like Prompt Genie. You can use any prompt management platform you want, but I'm gonna be bullish on Prompt Genie because just look at these reviews. Also, I'm the co-founder. Anyway, using the prompt optimization tools, whatever task you have for AI, all you gotta do is just type what task you want AI to do, then optimize your prompt, and in just a few seconds, it's gonna create a super optimized prompt for that task to get the best out of AI. So here's what our optimized prompt looks like. You're a creative startup brainstorming assistant. I will provide you with a list of skills, interests, and experiences. Based on this information, you will help me generate a variety of startup ideas that leverage my abilities. Your response should focus solely on innovative business concepts, niche markets, and potential solutions to real world problems that aligns with my skills. Please structure ideas in a clear format as, as follows. Startup ideas, idea title, brief description of the ideas, skill utilized, list of relevant skills, target audience, unique selling proposition, what makes the idea stand out. Your goal is to provide actionable and creative suggestions, avoid lengthy exp explanations or discussions, keeping it concise and focused on generating ideas. So now if I like this prompt, I can just save it. I can just give it to be like startup ideas. I can just give it a name, startup ideas, and boom, my prompt is saved. So if you have a variety of prompts, you know, the prompts you come across on the internet, the prompts you have created yourself before, or maybe I wanna do this exercise a month from now, I can just simply go here, go to my saved prompts and just search for startup ideas, and boom, I have my prompt 
ready to go. The point is you gotta start using prompt management and optimization tools to make your workflows a lot more better. Moving on, sign number four. You didn't know that if you go to ChatGPT settings and you go to connectors, you can connect all these apps right within ChatGPT. For example, I have my Gmail connected. So now I can go to ChatGPT. I can go here into deep research and I can pull Gmail as my source. And I can just be like, hey, go through all my unread emails and list out action items based on the deadlines. Sure, let's try that. Now this is gonna connect to my Gmail. It's gonna go through all the unread emails and it's gonna do the action for me. I'm not gonna continue this because, you know, I don't wanna share that information here on the internet. So I'm just gonna stop here, but you can take my word for it. it. It will and can go through your emails and do all that work for you. Of course, that being said, you should review the policies within your company for security. Uh, just because you're connecting multiple tools together, there is an API bridge here. There is a potential data security issue, which your company may not be happy with if you're connecting your business emails or your business applications. For me as a startup, it doesn't bother me as much. So I'm happy to connect my tools like HubSpot or Gmail or other connectors that are available through platform right now. All right, sign number five. You did not know you can actually schedule tasks within ChatGPT. So if we go to ChatGPT forward slash schedules, we can actually schedule tasks to run automatically within ChatGPT. Here is an example. Here I have a scheduled task, which is check the new AI use case. And instructions are search for new updates in AI and tell me one new use case of AI for work. It's gonna happen daily at nine o'clock. So now every morning at 9 a.m., ChatGPT will automatically run this instruction and it will append the results into this one chat, which I can access through my chat history. So here, now every single day, it is running the same prompt. It's finding the latest information and summarizing it based on instructions. So these were the five signs. So I've noticed that a lot of people who are stuck using ChatGPT like it's 2023 versus the power users who are using it the way it's supposed to be in 2025. So if you're a power user, comment down below what is your score out of five and send this video to a friend who should start leveraging these features more than they do. As always, if the video was useful, there was even a single takeaway, give a thumbs up, helps the channel, helps me understand what content you wanna see more of. And I'll see you next time. Until then, signing off, your Chief AI Officer.